two. All right. Back again. With the wrong headphones on. <laughs> uh, no background music. Excellent. Let's try and sort that out. Let's see. Cool. There we go. So yeah, back where we were yesterday, I have tinkered very slightly with the dents on the door, um, some of the dirt, but basically we're where we were. So the challenge for this section is to try and get um, some of these fake components in. So the plate for the latch, so the mortise lock I should say, there's got to be a square here which is in brass and it's raised. Uh, and then the fake keyhole, because there's no point in making geometry that goes right through the door. So I'm just gonna make a fake deboss keyhole and then maybe even go on and add a couple of hinges just impressions again either brass or maybe I'll just leave sort of indentation so if the model ever gets used on its own outside of a door frame there's a sense that there was a hinge there once so the whole thing makes sense there's an old door used um, then I want to go on and do maybe some scratches and I may do a painted version in this dream, doubt it though. Let's focus on the brass. The brass bits. All right, so let's see, let me think. Oh yeah, I've also added all the tool palettes to the window now, so you can actually see them in the last stream. Everything was on my second monitor, so we're now in business. You can actually see what's going on. Okay, right, so the music's also a bit louder, so I really hope that it is actually royalty free as it claims as well. Okay, let's go for it. Uh, so brass, non-geo, meaning it's brass that uh, doesn't relate to the geometry of the object. So let's clear the mask. Uh, let's find out where exactly on the model it is. So yeah, sorry, because I've moved these tool palettes around. You have to get used to me looking for them. Why the hardness slider for brushes is right at the bottom when it's kind of like one of the main one of the main tools you'd want in any brush anyway. There's so many little things I would change in this program, but anyway. Okay, so let's just basically do a little area there and I'll tell you what, let's add the red to the top. Okay, so we should be able to see now where we are. Yes, yeah, it's there, which makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So we need that to be a square. How are we going to do that? <laughs> well, in our reference, is actually inset technically but maybe if we want to add a um, hand plate a push plate here we might just want the whole layer to be protruding uh, and I'm gonna have to maybe even figure out how to do an ornate bevel around that even though it's all just done in normals but oh. 
let's let's just see how we get on. All right. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to create a base, change the base metal, uh, its height to like, yeah, there we go. Bang it all the way up, and then it's got like an indentation. Um. Where is the environment? There we go. Um, where's the light rotation when you near, need it? <laughs> For a start, this is shaders. Where's the environment? Environment, here we go, here we go, here we go, okay. Let's just try and get a bit of light on this one. So, yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, it's there. Do we have, I suppose a simple way of doing it would just be a square brush. So, Okay, so, um, yeah, I can get its size up, it's probably a bit too big. That's not a bad start. Um, <clears throat> a set we want, so with this one, we want the, now this is never right. The height, the height map from the wood is showing through. So we want to figure out <laughs> how to, how to replace that. So there is a replace, but it doesn't work at a folder level. Okay. Great. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Normal, 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 normal. Yeah, sorry. Go to the height here and then place. Hey, there we go. All right, there we go. Easy. I'm sure, that's been more difficult in the past. <laughs> uh, we also seem to have a load of red on there for some reason is it because i know why that is it's because we're projecting in object space or whatever it is so uh, let's try and not use shortcuts from another program um go back to this mask get rid of it again then change our projection in the brush here somewhere maybe that's it just to the UV Is that gonna do it that's it all right so now it's basically instead of taking into account what still got some red on it there. let me see if I can get around to getting rid of that
Um, yeah, so now if I paint onto the UVs, it will um, only take into account the fact that that look right. I think that could be thicker. Um, what's directly in front of me in terms of the flat texture. Whereas if, when you project on, when you change the alignment to wrap, it will, even though you're painting only on the texture, it will also paint on other aspects of the 3D model that, that are in the way. I don't know how it calculates it, but that's what it seems to do. In the way in 3D space. Okay, this is a very slow process. I am learning as I go. And I'm, I have done all this before, but it's very easy to forget. <laughs> At least it is for me anyway. Um, all right, so a bit bigger. So I'm holding down control and shift here to get a perfectly um, perpendicular line. So it's flat to the horizon and that's too high. There's another confusing thing is we're also slightly upside down as well. This looks good. That looks good. That actually could, yeah, be a mortise. That's pretty good. All right. Let's get rid of the red. Right. So it's now brass. Cool. Because we could make some holes in it. Hmm. How best to do that? Make a new layer. Yeah. Let's maybe make this fill layer black, but also change its height and replace. Replace the height layer, then add a mask to it. Uh, circle is just weirdly, it's just called shape, isn't it? There we go. Nope, it's not. Oh yeah, there it is, shape. Go okay, figure. Right, then size yeah yeah that kind of looks right it went so wonky and at the right end so there and then another one slightly smaller I could go there and there that kind of works Right, and then we need one that is a border. I guess, I guess I can do that with this layer, I'll try it. Okay. Why is it circular? Oh, it's not, okay. Can I change the border size? Yes, I can. So I can now go like that. And then that gives the impression of the lock section. Cool. Actually, wonder if I can get that border a bit thinner. <sighs> Don't know what happened there. Bit wonky. That might be the one. So there you go. All of that is pretty much painted on, but it looks like, you know, looks pretty good. It, I mean, it's a, it's a little area that you'd probably never, probably never see, but, um, or rarely see, or even look at, because, you know, think about a third person game, which is the type of game I'm working on. It's pretty good.
All right, let's save that. Now, what we want to do is basically the same process, um, just for just on the other layer. That adds a keyhole. Um, just for, just on the other layer, that adds a keyhole. It is, so, yeah, sorry, because I've moved these tool palettes around just checking my stream. Me. It's working okay. for them. Don't mind me. Why the hardness slider for brushes? Yeah, cool. It is. Uh, so we want, nope, 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 height, zip, color, black, change it to black mask. All right, now I'm getting tricky here. Because we've got to do this twice as well. A little bit. Okay. I don't think I want this to be completely hard because the reference images are kind of... The keyhole's got kind of pressed look. Where it's been cut, it's got a sort of chamfer. Oh yeah, and it's got screws on it as well. Better around to doing those screws. Um, yeah, it's got like a chamfer to make it easier to get the key into for a user. So, let's see what we can do. That's awful. <laughs> uh, yeah. What has happened there? Why are we on the wonk so much? Do it to this one in the light, so. What? Okay, let's change our projection. Tangent planar. Planar. Yeah, there we go, that's better. Oh, okay, the shape's just distorted, yeah. Cool, still too hard though. Better. Right. Good. Wow. <laughs> I haven't realized how high res this keyhole was. <laughs> Absolutely crazy size in the um in the UV map. <laughs> okay. Uh where's the next bit? So let's try and get it like that. Nah, it doesn't need to be like that. Um, yeah, but because I've changed the size, the hardness looks different. Too much. Try and line it up with there. And we got room for the screw holes, haven't we? That looks pretty good. Still think the hardness is too much. Try again. Pretty good, pretty good. And then, I don't know why, but there's also an indentation there at the top. 
there we go all right so the same here now is not going to be perfect both sides but it's not bad okay I really want to develop my own mask for screws at some point because there's just this lovely indentation in metal around the screws where they must have um, countersunk it and then put the screw in so you never get these sharp edges that you used to get with flathead screws. They're very, very sharply finished, presumably because of how they were sectioned up in the factory. Um, so they really countersunk them a lot. And then there's also these protruding flathead screws as well. Both of which could do I could do with like a an alpha four. It's just like this is a sort of 70s, 60s, 70s style door handle. Which has also got the same vibe going on because they were still using the flatheads at that point in time. Anyway. Okay. Let's see what um, so there's a crosshead. Just seeing what um, substance comes with by default. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got this, but maybe, maybe if I do the dent first and then that, that might work. Let's see, go around to the side again. Thankfully, old bits of metal work were all really old stuff. Victorian stuff is all handmade, so it's just irregular, which works <laughs> with my workflow. Um, but yeah, let's see. Think for this. Don't think I need to add a black layer, so I'm just going to make a new layer that's called um, brass screws. Um, and all it is is height, so we don't need any of this. We. drop it to nothing and then we add a mask and it replaces well let's see there's no not really any height data in this at, at the moment anyway so um let's see what we end up with to be <clears throat> softer again. I wonder if this one is any better. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, may as well do 
the other side whilst I'm at it as well. Okay, and then this. Is actually I want it to be inverse. Oh, okay. Maybe it's already. Oof. Yeah, that's not going to work. Kind of works. I want some. Rotation jitter though. Um, angle. Random angle. R angle jitter, there we go. Hmm. Kinda. Could get away with that. Maybe if I the flow, see what that looks like. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Yes. Excuse me. Cool. Wonder if I actually did make them a very slightly different colour. Why aren't we getting complete overlay there? That about. Okay. Yeah. Oh well, just leave it in there like that. But you can see why this whole thing could be a an alpha in itself with the indentation like that. But yeah, anyway. Okay, so we'll do the door handle the same way. We'll go all. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, never mind about the color then. Too much of a hassle right now.
my god, I've got this the wrong way around, haven't I? This is a lot nicer. <clears throat> That's it. Hmm. Let me make that just a bit smaller. And, uh, 0.25. So we can see some of the. Nah. <laughs> nope. 0.3. Three, two, maybe. Just so we can see some of that indentation around the side of it. That's looking pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so let's try for one of these um, push plates, whatever they're called. Well, actually, this has got the same. Uh, put a couple of, put a couple in here as well. Make bigger ones. Nah, never mind. Get it. Not important enough. Okay. Plates. This one doesn't seem to have much of a ornate bevel on it. So let's see what we can do. So let's find out where it is first. Very high tech way of figuring that out. Um, okay. Here. So let's let's do that. Wear that out. We've got rounded. How is that rounded? <laughs> Not with it. Interesting. 
No, you're talking. This looks great. Okay, so if I went from sort of, where is it? It's pretty much in line with that. Hey, pretty much it. Bit massive. Looks good though. Get one on the other side. That didn't work. Good. It's wonky, which it kind of is. This one's a little over to the right, this one's a little over to the left. Just wonder if it's a bit too thick. I think it is. <clears throat> I think it is. That's better. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. So, same again, wherein we... No ball, even though it's called ball. I don't know actually, these ones don't really have an indentation. So maybe we could just be really cheeky and just do the whole thing with this, even though it's not quite correct. Hmm. Well, let's see. That didn't work. Oh, 
I wonder, instead of that, maybe I just go, needs a new layer that actually pokes out, doesn't it? Um, embossed screws. That's better. Where's the rotation? there. I think I'm probably going to end that there and come back. Actually, no. Let's just do the hinges whilst we're here. So, let's try and find some hinge reference. Um, old brass Hinges. Oddle. <laughs> Wonder if we can find them in place. reference there. I'm going to get that one. Wow. Who'd have thought it'd be so difficult to find picture of a hinge on a door that's not a bad reference I'm wondering about just doing a plate without 
without this geometry on it, just the plate. So as the door opens, you can get a sense that there's some kind of mechanism there, but you don't need all that extra geometry for something that's hardly ever seen. You just get you just get it. I could remove it later, depending, but yeah, you just get this plate. So it should be easy to do. So. Uh, this one's even where's the okay yeah this one's even got a general size interesting okay so I could make I could actually do the whole thing cool okay yeah let's go for that Okay. I'm just going to cheat cheat this one. Because I don't want to spend too much time on it. Well, actually, can I just do it there? Yes, I can. Yeah, do this. So that configuration was, yeah, da, 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 da. yeah something like this. There you go. And that's the impression of a hinge. Doesn't need to be crazy. Cool. Now, let's find out where these kind of crazy outlines are coming from, because I'm not sure <clears throat> I'm sort of buying that. I think it's coming from the wood. But let's, let's find out, so. No, it can't be can it because it's not being fed that info. So what is it? Odd. That 
that's fine. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, could just be the harshness of this. Of this, I mean, yeah, maybe if I reduce the height, it stop. Yeah, it might stop being so crazy. And we still get some bump, but we're not getting a crazy hard outline. It's hard to tell, obviously, because it's fake, what the actual height of it is. But it probably doesn't need to be like 9,000 or whatever I've got it on at the moment. Probably be something more like that. All right, what else is going on? <clears throat> okay, I think I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna pick up with some finishing touches later on uh, in the next stream, indentations and scratches and other bits and pieces. Um, and then maybe some paint, but that, yeah, maybe we'll do paint and, and finishing touches.